right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do this bomb.com chicken salad. And I already have my chicken boiled. I boiled it for about 40 minutes. To the um, pot, I added about a little bit of salt. You know, salt is whatever your preference is. I added a carrot and two potatoes and onion so we can get some flavor. And now I'm shredding it with two forks because it's really, really hot. <laughs> Don't burn yourself, FYI. All right, so I'm done with the forks. Um, it's, yeah, no, I use my hands. Of course, they're washed and sanitized and everything. And I'm almost done with the shredding, but you know, there's those pieces. Oh, Beatrice, where'd you go? Beatrice, hello? where you go? Hello, Beatrice, come back. I don't know where I went. I just disappear. Anyway, so the chicken, it's already shredded. Oh, there I am. And see, I brought, I took out the potatoes because I'm going to need them. And let's go on the next step. All right, guys, the next step is just me dumping all this stuff in a bowl and having Ivana all up in my camera. And then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, guys, my next step, as you can see, is me cutting this lettuce. We're going to go ahead and make sure we sanitize, wash, rinse very well, especially because this lettuce had a little bug, as you could see. And it was organic, but still, I wanted to wash it. Once you are done rinsing and washing, sanitizing your veggies, make sure that your chicken is not boiling hot or steaming because you don't want your lettuce to be like, cooked mushy you want your lettuce to be like um how would you call it like crunchy that way you don't have like a mushy lettuce because it's really good when it's a crunchy lettuce so we're gonna go ahead and continue chopping and chopping and more chopping lettuce it's not that much it's not a big deal <laughs> it's really easy though all right so let's go ahead and start chopping slicing dicing however you want to call this because we're about to put this lettuce on our chicken all right so we're gonna go ahead and start with the potatoes here i'm gonna go ahead and take some of the peel out i really don't mind the peel the peel is perfectly fine uh, my kids like it they don't really mind it so i left some took some out I went ahead and cut it in six. Um, you can cut it smaller, you can cut it a little bit bigger, just make sure that they're bite-sized pieces and go ahead and continue cutting as many or as little potatoes as you desire. I'm gonna go ahead and continue chopping and peeling a little bit my potatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and start just adding them to the bowl of chicken as you can see here with the lettuce um don't worry don't do this at home if you don't know how to chop the stuff on your hand but i've been doing this for quite some time because my mom used to do it all the time and then i've been cooking since i was little um so i have a little bit of practice but if you are learning or you're just afraid please don't do this at home and i'm just gonna continue chopping i think i cut about um six potatoes around like so like technically three because these are cut in half already as you can see here so about three medium sized potatoes not too big not too small but perfect for my bowl of chicken that i'm doing all right my next step on here my next ingredient it's going to be chicharros peas in english um, i added about a cup of chicharros or peas however you want to call it and I'm going to add a little bit of the juice of jalapeno. I think I also added some jalapeno in it. Oh, no, I did not. Um, but I did um, add the juice of a jalapeno. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue with my next step. But we're almost done. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you're enjoying this video as much as I am making it with this um, bomb voiceover. <laughs> Sorry, you hear my voice a little raspy. I just got over a cold, but I still can hear the... <clears throat> oh, here's my mayonnaise. So we're going to use this mayonnaise and not sponsors. I do about four tablespoons 
Um, the other one was part of the third one, but it fell. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of Dijon mustard, just a little tiny bit, not too cray cray. And I think that's about it. There you go. That's probably like a, like literally a tablespoon. And then we're going to go ahead and start mixing and mixing and more mixing. Where, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, salt, pepper, salt and pepper um, for taste. And you can add as much or as little salt and pepper as you like. I'm only adding a little bit of salt and I'm adding quite a bunch of pepper. I'm going to say I, I just love pepper. I prefer pepper over salt, but I'm going to go ahead and start mixing, keep mixing. Damn, looking at this video, I just want to go make some more and eat some more because they're, it looks so bomb. And I remember it was really, really good when I made it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, keep on going. Boom! Here is my end result. I only had a little bit just because it was already nighttime, so I didn't want to like go to sleep right away, and I had just eaten. So here it is. It's it's it was pretty bomb. And where did I go again? I just keep disappearing. I swear I don't even know where I went. Oh yeah, my tapatio. I almost forgot. Can't forget the hot sauce. Awesome. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire. That's a 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 fire